Hello, my name is Sabuna Wizard Berry. I am from Berry Science Lab. And folks, let us start this with a caution. Air carries sound waves, and water carries water waves, then what carries light waves? The answer was believed to be the imaginary ether. Michelson um, invented something called the interferometer to investigate the imaginary ether. Or I have good news and bad news. Bad news is that when you look in the textbook, it's like 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 this book. It's very hard to understand. But the good news is that, as you see on the wall here, I invented a new map to support Michael and Morley's interferometer and Einstein's special theory of relativity. Now let me ask you another question. Does the Earth feel like it's at rest or does it feel like it's moving? Well, of course, in this building, I feel like I'm at rest and the Earth is not moving. But imagine this, you are in a car that is moving at, at some certain speed. Let's say it's at 100 kilometers per hour, I'd let us say. 100 kilometers per hour. I've closed all the, Dad's closed all the windows so I don't feel the car moving. But what happens if I open one of the windows? Then, then I, and I put out my hand. Well, my hand experiences wind. That is wind. So, that means the car is moving. If you could stick your hand all the way out of, out of Earth into space, of course, that's not possible. So Mike Houston invented some sort of machine to do that. Now let us get on to the mat. Now here comes our mat for our new derivation. The Michelson Morley experiment. So first, so we have to set up a light. We will. We have to set up something like this. So, if you don't know what this. If you don't know what MS is, it is a partially silver mirror. Anything that lands on, any light source that lands on the silver part gets split into two. Okay, so we set up the whole experiment and it's, re and it's ready to go. So the light source goes to the mirror. And it means on the partially silvered part, splitting it into two. Those two have those two light sources, well now they have their own mirrors in front of them, reflecting them back to get get on the regular side, which combines them into the one light source we had before. And and then goes to the detector to set it off. And that is the Michelson Morley experiment. Step two, the boat analogy. Since it, this is very hard to understand, I'll give you a, another glance of it. Imagine a, a boat. So there are the three dots. Dock, dock A, dock B, which is in the top left corner, and dock C, dock C, dock C, which is in the bottom right corner. Now, how, what 
is the path to get from from dark A to dark B. One, two, or three. We have to choose one. Also, don't forget about the V or ether. It is going from west to east. But anyways, it's one because if we go this way, the V will pull us this way. So we're on dark B. Now, order to get from dark B to dark A, which path do we choose again? One, two, or three. Still one. Because if we go this way, then we will pull us this way. So we will go this way. And that is our boat analogy. Also, don't forget that A is pretending to be a mess. B is pretending to be a one. And C is pretending to be a two. All right. So, this way is downstream. Downstream, and this way is upstream. I'm at the M2, it is this length. And our best to M2 is also this length, which we will call L2. Step 3. MS to M2 or MS2 to MS. Keep in mind that MS to M2 is downstream and M2 to MS is upstream. Okay! Distance is L2, and and the velocity that we find the T to here is is well C plus V because you're going upstream. So the V or the ether fastens you up, like the gravitational push you get from Jupiter when you pass. But M2 to MS changes the velocity. D is still L2 because the, because the length is the same. But look out! Look out! V is C minus V because you're going upstream, not downstream. So the ether will slow you down eventually. Also, we are using C because that's the top speed you can go. Okay, now let's, let's see what T to is. So with all our information, T to DS is, is L2 over C plus V. And T to, T to US is is L2 over C minus V. Now, T2 DS plus T2 US is L2 over C plus V plus L2 over C minus V. We have to mark Apply this fraction by C minus V and this one by C plus V in order to get a common denominator. So that will be L2 C minus V plus L2 C plus V over C plus V C minus V. Okay, now we distribute Every day, literally, every day. <gasps> okay, that will make L2C minus L2V 
plus L to C plus L to V over C squared minus V squared. Now you obviously know that L to V L to minus L to V cancel. So that leaves us with 2 L to C over C squared minus V squared. But now that leads to taking Barney. What do we do now? Well, we have to factor out C squared from the bottom. So that is 2 L to C over C squared, 1 minus V squared over C squared. Because, you know, we don't know what, uh, we will reveal V, v and C much further in, in this interferometer. So, C equals to C squared, C times. So, t so T2 is 2L2 over C, 1 minus V squared over C squared. 